Creed 3 is the latest entry in the Rocky franchise. Rocky, he's gone. Adonis, it's time to shine. Jonathan, Ma Jonathan Majors, holy shit. First things first, let's talk about Michael B. Jordan. I don't think this guy gets enough respect for being as good a actor as he is. Dude's phenomenal. Have you seen Fruitvale Station? Go watch Fruitvale Station if you haven't. I feel like people needed a reminder that this dude is an amazing actor. And this is that reminder. Put some respect on his name. Tessa Thompson, put some respect, put some respect on her name too. My mic keeps falling down, like, like it's fighting Adonis Creed. This movie definitely feels the most personal for Adonis because even though the last movie was all about the Dragos and that relationship, obviously the history between his dad and Ivan Drago, it kind of felt like the source of the drama and it still was coming from those OG Rocky films. This feels very much like a Adonis story. The villain himself, he is a character from Adonis's life. I really like that aspect of the film. You know, sometimes with these franchises, especially kind of like, I don't want to point fingers at you, Rocky franchise, but sometimes, especially with the earlier films, it felt sometimes like, like you have to keep going, not that there's really, not that you feel inspired to. It kind of just feels like they got wrapped up in the, okay, who's Rocky gonna fight next? Instead of why is Rocky gonna fight next? This movie, it gives Adonis a reason to fight again. It feels earned for the characters and all of the journeys they go on. Adonis, Bianca, Damien, all of these characters still have things to go through. We're still learning more about these characters. They have new struggles introduced. We get more insight into older struggles they might have had. To that extent, the movie justifies its existence and then some. I think one of the more interesting B stories in the Creed franchise is Bianca. She's going deaf, but she is a singer. And I like how they progress that story here. I'm glad that it didn't get just pushed further below all of this drama between Adonis and Damien. And then let's talk about Damien. Damien, you son of a gun. Um, what to say about Damien? I'll start off by saying what everyone should be saying these days. Jonathan Majors is... Does anyone have any, like, wholesome Jonathan Majors roles they can recommend to me? Because I, I think I really need it. Like, he's so good. But man, he's he's been he's just beating everyone up lately. Jonathan Majors is phenomenal. Damien is one of the best Rocky villains, Creed villains in this whole universe. He's one of those more interesting villains to where we understand him and like he's a jerk, but we get it, you know. All throughout the movie, I'm going, dude, like you don't gotta be mean like that. But then again, Adonis did this to him. But then again, why did why Damien have to do very gray character? And I think that if this franchise is going to move forward, exploring Damien and his relationship with Adonis is a phenomenal way to move forward. There were times in this movie, I'm watching Jonathan Majors and Mike B. Jordan play off each other. And I'm like, people feel emotions like that? Like, like I've felt all of these emotions that they're feeling, but like, I didn't feel them like that, you know? And these guys are so good. I can't, oh, wow. <laughs> really good. Damien will be on my top 10 villains of the year for 2023. I'm calling it. And then of course we have Michael B. Jordan's direction. It would have been very easy for Michael B. Jordan, I think, to get the job done and for people to say, oh, like, oh, he definitely got the job done and stuff like that. That could have been the compliment, but he legit does more than that. He does a good job. Everyone has said, obviously, that he takes inspiration from anime and things like that. And you can tell, but it doesn't feel like a gimmick either. It, then again, Creed kind of does whip out Sharingan in the first fight, but but it's sick. I think what that means though for the movie and for just all the fight sequences is that they feel unique. And this movie, the fights needed to feel unique. I think that as a director is one of the biggest challenges going into this movie. It's like the eighth or ninth addition into this franchise, how are you going to direct these scenes in a way that makes them feel interesting and still exciting? Because two guys boxing, it's been, that's been the conclusion to every single movie in this franchise. But how do you make that fresh? And how do you make that just cool on all fronts? And I think that anime influence and just his direction in general, I think it achieves that. Like, I think that if we keep seeing him direct more stuff in the future, Give me some more fight scenes. It's gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna get some really cool stuff. All right, but the movie is not without flaws. Um, let's talk about Rocky being gone. I get it, first of all. Like, you don't want Adonis to live in Rocky's shadow the whole entire time. And Rocky's story was wrapped up as good as it probably could have been at the end of Creed 2. 
but I don't know, man. It's just like, it's just weird. There are a few times in this movie where I'm like, dude, Rocky, are you not like reaching out to this guy? Adonis, are you not going to Rocky for advice? I feel like he, he knows some good stuff about this. Those are the moments that it kind of stands out to me, but there, it's not like throughout the whole entire movie. I'm like, this movie sucks. Where the hell's Balboa? Also, I kind of miss uh, Ludwig Göransson's score. Uh, that's just a me thing. He's like one of my favorite modern day composers. Maybe that's just me. The score is the score's cool. There's uh, there's some really cool pieces of music on the score. I recommend checking it out. There's a song that plays at the end when him and uh, Damien are fighting. Phenomenal. You know I'm going to be lifting to that tomorrow. You know I'm going to be in the gym blasting blasting this this J. Cole song, that, that Spanish that Spanish song that's playing for my boy Felix. I'm going to be going crazy, guys. New Benchmax, 500 pounds. At the end of the day though, I, I really liked Creed 3. It's a worthy addition to the Rocky franchise. I'm happy we got it. It doesn't feel like a cash grab. And as of now, I said this last week with Cocaine Bear, as of now, best movie of the year. I'm gonna give Creed 3 a seven and a half. If you see me at the gym tomorrow and, and I'm squatting 800 pounds, you know I'm listening to that new J. Cole track, Adonis Interlude it's called. I'm gonna be going crazy. Uh, Maybe it's best you're not there for that. It's it's gonna be a sight for sure. Um, yeah.